Sara Joasafo is a three-term member of parliament for Dom Kwabenya, serving as the first female deputy majority leader and minister for procurement. A once glorious shining star that broke the glass ceiling and was held up as a symbol of hope and change by the new patriotic party has lost her luster and is now being shunned by her own. Ironically, the majority in parliament, instead of the minority, are asking for her seat, Dom Kwabenya, the political cash cow of the NPP, to be declared vacant. The daughter of the illustrious Apostle Kojo Safo, founder and leader of the Christo Asafo Mission, Sarah Joasafo, came into the public limelight then as a slender, innocent 18-year-old homeschooled law student at the Premier University, the University of Ghana. She became the youngest product from that university at age 22. In 2007, at just a tender political age of about 25 or 26 years, Adwoa Safo took on a political colossus. Professor Aaron Michael Kwe, then MP for Kwabenya in the NPP primaries, but lost. She jumped that hurdle four years on, went on to win three internal contests from Michael Nino Teokwe, son of Mike Aaron Okwe. Her entry into politics saw her experience a meteoric rise, especially when her party came into power again in 2016. She served as the first female deputy majority leader in the seventh parliament under the fourth Republican dispensation, as well as the first female minister for procurement. In her private life, the mother of three would see things move in the right direction as well. But all would take a downturn for the one-time favorite who also holds the record as a fasted vetted minister under the Fourth Republic. She was the eighth minister for women and children affairs. Some political watchers trace the beginning of her troubles to that position, the minister of gender, children and social protection. It is speculated a memo terminating the appointment of the National School Feeding Coordinator, Gertrude Koshiga, and the director from the presidency to rescind same may have precipitated her misfortunes. After the directive to reverse her decision, the minister went AWOL after her permission on sick leave expired. In March, Majority Leader Osaechi Mensabunsu disclosed that Sarah Joasafo had requested a month-long leave from the House. But her continuous absence at a time when the legislature was almost equally split and all members critically needed will infuriate members of her party and the majority in the House. She, alongside Asin Central MP Kennedy Japon and MP for Ayawaso Central Henry Korte, were hauled before the Privileges Committee. Ajoa Safo, then based in the United States of America, feigned innocence about the said invitation and made no appearances either in the House or before the Privileges Committee. Her last two appearances in the House during the heated E-Levy bill debate came with its own controversy of impersonation. But almost three months after the Privileges Committee completed its work, Sarah Joasafo is yet to know her fate. With news of her returning to Parliament even as the House is set to make a decision on her, she would probably hope the minority would more than the majority to keep to her defence. Should Adwoa Safo have her seat declared vacant, she would still go into history as the first MP to have members of her party oust her from the legislature. At just around 40 years, life is just beginning for the soft-spoken but fierce Sarah Adwoa Safo.